joining us Love right him. now. Let's get him out here. He's a distinguished actor who happens to be a master of the fine art of conversation. Beyond his fine dramatic performances and roles in horror films, his wide range of interests in the finer things in life make him something of a renaissance man and a delightful guest. I wonder if he wrestles naked girls on set. Well, we'll ask him. Vincent Price. <laughs> You don't play golf. No, and I don't wrestle either. No, no. no. Have you ever been tempted to? Or to wrestle? A naked lady? Well, I do it at home. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's much better there. And does Carl know oh, about Carl that? loves it. She greases herself does up. Does she? <laughs> Probably a very fine herbal oh, yes. salad oh, no, oil. No, no, absolutely nothing you but Chanel Fumpf. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah, good. No, she's wonderful at it. You've huh? been really traveling around this summer. I sure you? have. I really have. I've had a lovely time playing all over the country. And seeing America. Yeah, America. I know. And a lot of Denver. Oh, yeah. A lot of Denver. Yeah. Yes, I just did two weeks at Elitch's Gardens. Have you ever played there? No. no. Oh, I, I know. Oh, it's theater. a wonderful theater. It was at uh, Elitch's Garden? Yeah. Oh, no, it's, no. it's the longest running. Could that uh, have been a ballroom? Ilitch's. No. no, it's was still, it Jack? It's the famous. Ilitch's was? Yeah, I know. I played there. Ilitch's, when you said that, I went, Ilitch's Garden. Yeah. yeah. Ma, In Denver? Na, na, yeah. Sure. They have now it's band a theater? concerts and they have a theater. It's we the were hardly a running concert. theater in, uh, in the country. Uh -huh. It's a wonderful theater. Really Oscar is. Wilde, you did. Yeah, I did Oscar Wilde. Had a wonderful time. Is it a popular show? I mean, um... yes. Strangely enough, you know, I thought going into a place where there was a, an amusement park attached to it, they might not like Oscar Wilde, but they found him amusing. Thank and you God. did uh, amuse yourself in the amusement parks too. Oh, didn't sure. You? I'd go do the rides in between acts. I'll bet you are as curious as I am to know. How can I phrase the evolution? Yeah. Of a gentleman. The evolution of a gentleman? Yes. You mean how you I mean, hatch? I, and... I can't picture you as a child. How did it all evolve? I was a child. I know, of course you were. I wet my pants. I did everything that you You'd have been a strange looking baby if you were. But I did it with very great style. elegance. Style. Style. <laughs> style. When my mother changed my diapers, she held them up and said, see, see how nicely my boy does it. Mm. <laughs> where, where, how, and. Did you learn the appreciation of finer things in life? Art, food, I had a, I had a wonderful family, really a wonderful family. We were very musical, very artistic, and they were wonderful people, and we enjoyed everything. And my mother sent us all into the kitchen to learn how to cook, and they'd go off on trips to Europe, and they'd come back, and they'd bring recipes, and we'd try them out. And we had a wonderful time. I, I must say, I, I always feel sorry for people who didn't have a happy childhood. Very disciplined? Yes, very disciplined, very Private disciplined. Private schools? Private schools, yes, good, good education. And I believe in that. Right. I really do, oh boy. Who pointed you towards your first Matisse, Monet, Monet. Modigliani, oh. Rembrandt? Well, I bought a Modigliani when I was about 20. You was bought the, a, bought a Modigliani? Modigliani? Yes, it was $50. And uh, you, mean, you mean a print? A drawing. A drawing. No, a real original drawing. Do you I, still have it? Could yes, I? yes. I, I bought an Andrew Wyeth, which was $50. Sure. I mean, that's the only way to buy him. I can't afford him. What anyway. would that Andrew Wyeth be worth today? Well, I gave it to a couple who I was very fond of when they got married, and finally they got a divorce, and one had custody of the children, one had custody of the Wyeth. <laughs> and uh, that's how much it's worth. It's worth a fortune. Yeah. It's worth a lot of money now. And, and, and your Modigliani. Yeah. Yeah, but they weren't really at that time, you know. But at what I, age did you see a work of art that stunned you and said, well, I want one of those of my own? When I was 12, I bought really my first see? work of art, which was a Rembrandt etching. But that isn't hard, you no. know. He's such a great master that it, it isn't difficult. Well, and I love pictures. I really love the world of art. That show that we did, you mm, remember a few months do ago? Do I remember it? Oh, it was really this great fun. This wall oh, was just it was wonderful, wasn't it? plastered yeah, with yeah. Artists, new and interesting artists. Yes, new ones. That's right. the important thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Make up your mind what you like and learn to see and learn to eat well and learn to drink well. And then you are a gentleman. What's your first experience on Broadway? Vincent? I was did a play one? with, yes, it was very impressive. I did a play with Helen Hayes called Victoria Regina. And I was 23 and she was the greatest star in the business and I was her leading man for three years. It was kind of marvelous. 
probably accompanying that, had to behave yourself off the stage? Oh, yes, I did. There were no wild times? No, there were very few. One night, a girl and I got drunk and had a picnic in the middle of Park Avenue. Bless her. Because we figured that it was the only place no one would see us. They'd be killed crossing the street. Right. In that little little park along there, and there were lilies and flowers and tulips. It was a wonderful picnic. Mm. And Mm. we did something else there, too. It was marvelous. Right Right on Park Avenue? Yes, why not? I mean, if you're going (laughs) to... You ask about being That's a That's uptown. Sure, you know, don't do it downtown. Really, mm, no, mm. do it in the middle of Park Avenue. Those good days. Oh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Still are. Have you ever starved? Still, I'm, I'm, I'm like Mac, you know. I, I don't worry about getting old. I am old. <laughs> I think it's marvelous. <laughs> I think it's just wonderful. Look at your hair. You don't do anything to nothing, it. Nothing. Grecian thing. formula, no, you'd never no. know you used it. No. <laughs> You think that what works? is Grecian formula? Oh, you know what Grecian formula is. I don't, formula. I swear well, it's I don't. water, and you put it in your hair, and it slowly goes back, and you turn into a child. <laughs> You've seen those ads, haven't you? But yeah. it usually comes out orange. Well, slightly orange. No, well, that but could you imagine coloring this? No, it is beautiful. It's really wonderful, and you can't see the join at all. It's no. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Hair lace, you doing it down like that covers the hair lace. And do you know people write in and say, I oh, why don't do. you get a new toupee, toupee for sure. God's sake? Look, yeah. look, look. It's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't grow, but it's no. all. But they, they think we all wear toupees. <laughs> I know. So right. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever starve? I cannot picture you. Oh, sure, sure. Hustling around. I was with Orson Welles in the Mercury Theater, and he paid us so little that we starved. Orson? We really did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the Mercury Theater. You know, right. it was the well, beginning of Orson Welles. Company. And and you should company. starve a little. And after. we starved a little, and it was great fun. It mm. was wonderful, exciting. Talk, if you will, about California wines, because David Mears, who's coming out here, is it true or is it not true that California vineyards rescued France? At one time. In about 1850-something, yeah. when they were, when all of their vineyards were wiped out with some kind of a disease. That's right. So, in truth, they are growing California wines in France. That and is sending true. them back here with those and huge also, prices. And also, there was a time when uh, California was growing wines, and they'd ship them as ballast to France around the horn, mind you. And they would s- then bottle those wines in France and ship them back to the United States as French wines. It's really true. But you know, the thing I think is exciting, I worked for the Wine Institute for a long time, mainly because I think people are such snobs about wine. And right. wine is just good to drink. It's lovely, lovely drink. It's a lovely accompaniment to life and to food. And you know, the other fun thing I found is searching out these little wineries. Yes, one And little. you get incredible buys. Yeah. And incredible wines, and you find all new ones. A yeah. uh, store will recommend them, uh, a oh, new no, one. But the to little you. ones, if, if you drive up to uh, San Francisco and you stop at the little wineries and taste them, you very seldom make it to San Francisco, but I you have know. a marvelous time. Oh,